Unplug the washer from the wall outlet. Turn off the water supply to the washer. Before performing the following service procedure, vacuum any water out of the drain hose. Using a 5 16 inch socket, loosen the two bottom front panel screws. Do not remove the screws. Insert a putty knife between the cabinet top and the top edge of the front panel, approximately three inches from the side. Push in on the putty knife and at the same time, pull the top edge of the front panel away from the front of the washer. Repeat this procedure for the opposite side. Lift the front panel off the two screws and set the panel aside. The screws at the bottom edge of the front panel do not have to be removed. The holes in the front panel are slotted. Loosen the hose clamps and remove the hoses from the pump assembly. If the water has not been vacuumed out of the drain hose, there will be water in the pump. In these cases, the hoses must be pinched off to prevent water spillage. Unhook the idler spring from the idler lever. Do not overstretch the spring when removing it. Disconnect the motor wire harness from the motor switch by pressing down on the locking tabs on top of the connection block and, at the same time, pull the block away from the motor switch. Reach in and around the motor and run the belt off of the large driven pulley. Using a half inch socket, remove the four screws holding the motor mounting bracket to the lower tub flange and to the weldment assembly. It may be necessary to remove the two front centering springs before removing the motor assembly. Remove the motor assembly from the washer. Turn the motor assembly upside down. Using a spring clip tool, remove the spring clip that holds the idler pulley onto the idler shaft. Remove the pump by unlatching the three pump clips from the motor bracket. Early model pumps will be held in place by three T25 torque screws located on the legs. Remove the pump from the motor assembly. Using a 5 16 inch socket, remove the motor shield from the motor. Using a 3 8 inch socket, remove the four nuts holding the motor to the motor mount. Remove the steel washers and rubber mounts from the motor studs. Disconnect the ground wire from the motor. Pull the motor mount bracket off the motor. Remove the remaining mounts and steel washers. Remove the idler lever. Use a half inch socket for the shoulder bolt and a 7 16 inch wrench or socket for the nut. Reinstall the idler lever. Use a half inch socket for the shoulder bolt and washer and a 7 16 inch wrench or socket for the nut. Place the four steel washers and rubber mounts onto the motor studs. Place the motor mount bracket onto the new motor studs with the switch facing toward the left side of the bracket. Install the remaining mounts and steel washers. 
Using a 3 8 inch socket, install the four nuts onto the motor mounting studs. Reconnect the ground wire to the motor. Using a 5 16 inch socket, reinstall the motor shield onto the motor. Prior to installing the pump, install the belt around the motor pulley. Place the pump onto the motor, making sure that the rear leg of the pump is inside of the belt. Latch the three pump clips onto the motor bracket. Early model pumps will be held in place with three T25 Torx screws. When reinstalling the idler pulley, make sure that flat washers and wave washers are on both sides of the pulley. Install the flat washers next to the idler pulley bearing. The wave washers should not be against the bearing. Replace the spring clip. Turn the motor assembly right side up. Place the motor assembly into the washer. Using a half inch socket, reinstall the motor mounting bracket to the lower tub flange using two bolts and washers and to the weldment assembly using two bolts. Get each of the four bolts started first, then fully tighten them. Replace the centering springs if they were removed during motor removal. Check to make sure that the centering springs are properly hooked to the base. Install the drive belt to the motor pulley and idler pulley and run it onto the driven pulley. Rehook the idler spring to the idler lever. Reattach the motor wire harness to the motor. Reattach the tub to pump and drain hoses to the pump assembly. Tighten the hose clamps. Replace the front panel by inserting the bottom two slotted holes over the screws on the bottom of the cabinet. Using a putty knife, push the top of the panel into the spring clips. Tighten the two bottom front panel screws. Turn on the water supply to the washer. Plug the power cord into an outlet. To prevent damage to the pump, do not run the washer before adding at least one quart of water to the tub. If the washer is run before any water is added, the pump seal may overheat, causing the pump to leak. Run the washer through a complete cycle to make sure it's operating properly.